YouTube, what's up? This your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys tonight. Tonight in this video, I will be showing you guys this cool screensaver that I have here for my Mac. Now you'll see here, this is the same screensaver that we have on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. I'll be sure to put the link down below in the description, so don't worry, I got you faded. And right now, I'm going to switch this over to my Mac, so you can just see here how you would tweak it to set it up. All right, YouTube, now that we're up and running on my Mac here, I'm going to show you guys how you can open up system preferences and install your screensaver. Once you go to the website and download the screensaver that I have down below in the description, it will be in your downloads folder. Now you just want to open up your system preferences. Once you're inside here, you just want to go to where it says desktop and screensaver. Yours should be on desktop. Don't worry, just click on screensaver like so. Once you go here, just stroll down to the bottom, and there you will see it sitting in the left-hand corner, iOS 7 lock screen. Select it, and over here you can choose screensaver options. And just pretty much tweak it however you like. You can choose your clock for AM, PM, 12 o'clock, custom size, custom clock size, and text, and all of that good stuff, the date, height, everything, dynamic. That's pretty cool. But I'm going to leave mine as is. And when you set everything up and it goes into the lock screen, only thing you have to do in order to unlock it, you just move your mouse or whatever, or press the key on the keyboard, and it will still prompt you to enter your password for your Mac. So I think that's pretty sweet. It's kind of like having a giant iPad. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video I just gave you. It's 12.56 a.m. I have to get some sleep because I'm supposed to be at the gym with a friend of mine at 5.30 a.m. I'll let you.